Unveiling the Illusion Understanding Smoke and Mirrors Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that's often used in English, smoke and mirrors. This expression is rich in imagery and has a fascinating background. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it effectively in your conversations. So, let's unveil the mystery behind smoke and mirrors together. The phrase, smoke and mirrors, originates from the world of magic and illusion. Magicians have historically used smoke to obscure the audience's view and mirrors to create deceptive illusions, tricking the audience into seeing something that isn't really there. This technique allowed magicians to perform seemingly impossible feats, leaving the audience in awe. When we say something is, smoke and mirrors, we're not talking about magic shows. Instead, we use this phrase to describe a situation where someone is being deceptive or misleading, making something seem better or different from what it really is. It's about creating an illusion to distract or deceive. This can apply to politics, marketing, and even personal relationships. To help you understand how to use smoke and mirrors in context, here are a few examples. 1. In politics, the government's plan to improve the economy is just smoke and mirrors. There are no real solutions being offered. 2. In marketing, that advertisement makes the product look amazing, but it's all smoke and mirrors. The actual product is much less impressive. 3. In personal relationships, he promised to change, but it was all smoke and mirrors. His behavior is exactly the same. 1. Context is key. Use this phrase when you want to express skepticism or disbelief about the truthfulness or reality of a situation. 2. Emphasize the illusion. When explaining why something is smoke and mirrors, highlight the difference between the illusion and the reality. 3. Be cautious. Remember, accusing something or someone of being smoke and mirrors can be strong and potentially confrontational. Use it wisely and consider the context. And there you have it. A closer look at the phrase, smoke and mirrors. Now that you understand its origins, meaning, and how to use it in conversation, you can add this expressive phrase to your English vocabulary arsenal. Remember, language is not just about words but the ideas and history they convey. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has illuminated the fascinating world of English expressions for you. Happy learning!